Welcome to Spotlight Chicago's Halloween Spooktacular Show. Our inaugural Hallow's Eve, it was all about the TV show The Bear. Inspired and filmed in our city, it was the perfect fit. From eating Italian beef delivered from Mr. Beef himself to dressing up as an Italian beef homemade from scratch, we delivered the goods on why Chicago is the very best. So this year, we knew we had to deliver a Chicago story that captured the attention of a nation that went as viral on social media as Jeremy Ellen White in underwear and inspired travelers to pilgrimage from far and wide. Ta-da! <laughs> I'm a rat! Woo-hoo-hoo! And it's not because we've been told Chicago is ratty. No, no, no! It's because together we are the Chicago Rat Hole. You look like a beautiful rat. <laughs> I feel like I need to have cheese and let's feed you. Um, I, where is my cheese? <laughs> <laughs> so we are talking about the infamous imprint of a rat, immortalized for decades in concrete on a sidewalk in Roscoe Village. That rose to fame early this year back in January after a social media post by local artist and comedian Winslow Dumain. All right, so if you love me or hate me, you can't deny it. I was a big story, even making the New York Times and headlines overseas. Now, from devotees that left tribute to the annoyed neighbors that finally <laughs> <laughs> got the city to remove it. Whether you thought it was silly, sacred, or sacrilege, we were a sensation. And speaking of sensational, Sarah, you really <laughs> lived up to your DIY queen status with this one. You guys know I love Halloween. It's truly my favorite holiday. So my husband and kids helped me with this bad boy here. Um, what do you, yeah, not oh too bad, Oh my God, right? look at this. This is so cool. <laughs> We've got some behind the scenes footage. We'll show you a look at it. All I did was get foam board from Home Depot found an Etsy seller with a rat hole cookie cutter because it was so popular, remember? Uh-huh. They just printed out a picture of that, used it as a stencil, and traced it onto the foam board. And then from there, you just start cutting and kind of digging out the pieces little bits at a time. <laughs> We <laughs> like slowly doing it. My kids helped me with this part. They had a great time doing it. We cleaned it all up with a little bit of vacuum there and then a little bit of spray paint. And uh, of course, the whole thing had to look like concrete, right? And then you got to put the little things on at the end that people would leave by the rat hole, the portillos, the malort, all the things. A little fireball for you right there, G. Oh my gosh, <laughs> my goodness. All right, it looks so heavy, like, whoa! whoa! One thing I forgot, though, was the cheese oh, for my oh. rat! Oh my God, is your neck gonna be okay? No, I'm good. Incredible. It's not real, you guys, it's very, oh my gosh. very light. You're very a light. genius, that looks like concrete. <laughs> that is beautiful. Thank you, thank you. All right, now us deciding that the rat hole was the most viral story out of Chicago this year didn't come without some complaints. Yeah, okay, so we had a few folks that wanted to claim that they were the most popular clickbait this year. Take a look. Hey, uh, excuse me, I have an issue. I'd like to lodge a complaint. I think you both know that's not a rat hole. It's clearly a squirrel imprint. At least call it a rodent hole. Be accurate. Fake news. Move over, rodent brain. 2024 belonged to the insects, the cicadas. If you're talking about who was most viral this year, it's us, pal. Billions of our kind, two broods emerging from so underground pretty. in a rare <laughs> synchronized <laughs> event that hasn't occurred since 1803. People were terrified of us. They made music with us. They made jewelry out of us. They even ate and drank us. Whatever brood, Roman numeral, whatever, eight and 19 periodical, yada yada, I'm a once in a lifetime bucket list check mark one of the seven natural wonders of the world. Cicadas are a nuisance. The rat hole doesn't have people flying internationally for a pilgrimage, but lucky for you Chicagoans, I came to you this year so you could behold the Aurora Borealis without even boarding a flight. And I'm told I'm pretty phenomenal. Spiritual experience, in fact. And you couldn't even get enough of me, so I just kept coming back. Hey y'all, so it's the shy Barbie here. We couldn't get the most viral Chicagoans to make a cameo. You see how I do my makeup for work? Very demure, very mindful. Yeah, that's not in the budget. <laughs> oh, I wish we could get 
forget those last two. I know. But, yeah. That last one was Jules Lebrun, a local gal who catapulted to TikTok fame in August with over 51 million views, showcasing her work appropriate look, launching the catchphrase all across the globe. Everybody was saying it, Sarah. <laughs> very demure, very, very mindful. mindful. <laughs>